Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Story Jackson. I'm a reporter for People Magazine, and welcome to the Effortless Style How to Nail Your Spring Look panel during Glam Hack Spring Style and Beauty Summit. Before we get started, we have just a few quick housekeeping notes we have to get through. So at any time during this session, feel free to leave your questions, comments, and any technical support requests in the chat box. This is public so everyone can see what you are sending. We will be starting with our panel discussion for 30 minutes and leaving 10 minutes at the end for the Q&A. This session is recorded and will be available after the event is over. And don't forget to follow us at, at GlamHive and engage with us socially during our event using the hashtag Hashtag Glam Hive Live. We also want to say a quick thank you to our presenting sponsor, Mary Kay Global Studio Design Studio. Mary Kay and the Mary Kay Global Design Studio celebrate a world where beauty, fashion, and empowerment are synonymous. Mary Kay champions creative industries that are diverse, inclusive, and innovative at their core. So without further ado, it's time to introduce you all to our amazing panel today. First up, we have Daisy Gutierrez, who is the Senior Style Manager at Revolve. Next up, we have Kate Paris, who is the Creative Director and Owner of Chaos by Kate Paris. Then we have Carolina Lindo, who runs the I'm Not Sorry Darling blog. And lastly, we have Kelsey Stegman, who is the Senior Style Editor for Seventeen Magazine. Hi, all. How are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this panel. So Daisy, I'm going to start with you. What are some spring summer must haves that are like that look easy, breezy and amazing to you right now? Um, I would say an oversized button down uh, shirt. It's perfect to layer it, you can use it as a cover-up or you if it's oversized enough you can even use it as a dress um a few other ones are a relaxed trouser i really love an oversized jean right now um and also any braided details on shoes sandals heels mules all right i don't know if you guys like if you at any moment want to just chime in and say oh i like this thing i have like an <laughs> idea add on to it do that Okay, so next for Kate, do you find that there is a psychological shift when going from a winter to a spring look? I love this question. Um, <laughs> it really relates to me. I think winter is just a time in general that just your body, your circadian rhythm is affected by light. So mm -hmm. the, there's less light in winter, which just makes you naturally wanna hunker down and be cozy and sleep more. And so I think there's a natural inclination to just be comfortable. And then spring, I, I mean, it's a natural rebirth. It's like a renewal. And I find that just in general, it's not even just about being excited to get dressed. It's like you get foreshadowing of the warm weather and you get motivated to like clean and to exercise and to, you get excited about dressing again for the warmer weather. And I really think there is a psychological, um, effect in regards to fashion seasonally from winter. And I think they both serve a really healthy purpose. Absolutely. So Carolina, you look, your look always appears effortless. What is your secret and do you have a formula to the way in which you dress? Well, hey, uh, my style is always very minimal. So I go always to the basics first. And then from there, I just like accessorize. It could be just like a good pair of earrings or a jacket, you know, a belt, a pair of sunglasses. So it depends on the occasion if I want to dress it up or dress it down if it's day or night. So it just depends, but accessory is a big part of my style since my style is like very basics, you know. Got it. So for Kelsey, what are some of your favorite ways to turn basic clothes into cute outfits? I would say that the key to like styling basics, like very simple clothing, which is like a lot of what I do, um, is the fit. Like it needs to be either perfectly fitted or perfectly oversized. Um, for me, most of the time I go for perfectly oversized. <laughs> um, so you really need to be selective about, you know, the basics that you buy to make sure that they really are giving you the vibe that you want. Um, like Daisy talked about an oversized button up. Like if you get the wrong fit, you're going to look like you're going 
to business school, right? But if you get the perfect oversized yeah. fit, I literally wore it to like a bar the other weekend over like a fitted little ribbed tank top. Um, so that's certainly my secret, I would say. And I also love a monochromatic look, like pairing an oversized black t-shirt with a pair of oversized black trousers. Like that just looks so effort effortlessly chic and the same goes to like an all white fit. So that's a really good way I found of making um, your typical basics look very, very chic. Also, like when in doubt, pop on a blazer. Like, you really can't go wrong. <laughs> so actually, Kelsey, for you on this basics topic, where do you think people might go wrong in terms of making this happen? I feel like, like I said, the fit is often like the issue or like the cut. Like, personally, I think that, um, and please note that like fashion is subjective. Like what I'm saying is not law. This is just what I find and what I like. Um, it might be different for you, but personally, I like a close cut um, crew neck and a really high rise tank top. Um, I find that those look much chicer than like a V-neck or like a boat neck or something a bit looser, even like a crew neck that like maybe below the collarbone. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel like just paying very, very, very close attention to those tiny details that might not seem important when you're shopping, you're just like, oh, wait, you, like whatever. Like you really, really, really have to be selective. Okay, and back to Daisy. So what trends has Revolve bought into this summer? Wow. Um, our customer really loves our matching separates. It's especially after pandemic. I think everyone is very excited for spring and summer to dress up. I mean, we're still in a pandemic, but there's, you know, less restrictions in some areas. Um, a knit dress, you can't go wrong with a nice little, um, either a maxi or a midi or a mini knit dress. Anything with a cutout, our customer really loves their cutouts um, on a dress, on a top. Um, anything with a string detail, we're seeing a lot of, um, well, we have a lot of tops with little uh, strings wrapping around your torso, um, skirts as well. And sarong skirts are really big for summer. So um, you'll see them a lot on Revolve, on our editorials. Um, and also you can go wrong. I think this is just every single season is a crop top. Uh, our customer really loves their crop tops. So we keep, you know, bringing them in. <laughs> okay and this question is for everyone so what would you say is a trend that you guys are most excited about this season getting out of sweats <laughs> which I think we can all relate to um yeah I think that's a big one yeah mm -hmm. I've been wearing like sage green a lot like greens Ooh. and browns um which is a big moment for me literally my mom's been fighting to get me to wear color since i was in diapers and i've been like no <laughs> black like that's i'm good um, same yeah so, <laughs> the fact that i'm like buying clothes that are a color is mm -hmm. huge so yeah very much into sage green very much into um like rich browns right now okay yeah um i'm with kelsey you'll always find me in black no matter what if it's summer <laughs> i just can't you know wear anything else but I think lately I've been really excited about the whites. So my entire wardrobe shifted from all black to now I'm really obsessed with the whites. Even wearing dresses, I usually don't really wear many like dresses, but now I have all these like white, beautiful, lightweight dresses in my wardrobe. Are we the same person? I think we are. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I'm really excited about neons. I don't know. And Ooh. I think it's just because coming out of COVID, but there's just such brightness to it. I'm really attracted to like this neon yellow and greens right now, even in polish. I think it adds just kind of a nice, a really nice touch, even just as an accessory, whether it's a bag, even with their black or white outfit to bring in some sort of pop of color, I think makes it really special and unique, and unique to you. Absolutely. So Kate, back to you. Yes. What advice do you give your clients to cultivate they're cool and what items look cool on everyone? This is a really important topic for me because I really want, I really want people to stay true. My clients stay true to who they are. I think in our mind, like we, there's so many of my clients that admire like um, Gwen Stefani style, but that doesn't suit them. So I really try to encourage them like, 
who is a celebrity style that you love that's really attainable for you and your lifestyle and then we kind of go from there and what i love is to create uh, pinterest mood boards based on those outfits i i um even use pinterest mood boards for myself just there's those days you can't think you can't pull it together and you just <laughs> start to create the, this amazing portfolio of outfits that are really attainable that are comfortable that are really true to you um pinterest is an amazing resource and i always find endless inspiration Yes, I love Pinterest so much. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And I, my board is actually outfit inspiration for spring and summer. I have a fall and winter, and just keep moving it in there. And it's really helpful to, to build that. Awesome. So, Carolina, back to you. How does your beauty routine contribute to your look? Yes. So, well, I like to keep my beauty routine very like uncomplicated and minimal. You know. And most important is to have, you know, good skin, have a really good hydrating, you know, that looks good. Also, my makeup is very, you know, natural. I don't like any bright lipsticks and same as like browns on the eyes and yeah, like a very natural, you know, skin that goes with the looks, my minimal looks. So yeah, most of like, you know, <laughs> neutrals. Yeah, actually, I can just even tell over this virtual Zoom, your skin is incredibly glowing. What are your go-to like products that you're using for skincare and also for makeup as well? Yeah, so I love oil serums. One mm -hmm. of my favorite is actually the Ella Luz from Camila Coelho that they have a revolve. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I use it all the time and I love it, especially before my makeup. So it looks more dewy and glowy. So it gives it a little bit of like that glow that you see here. Okay, great. So Kelsey, how in, oh yes, I'm so sorry. What items in your closet look cool without even trying? What items in my closet look cool without even trying? Um, I mean, I feel <laughs> like we've all touched on these, but like for me, at least right now, um, it's very much like a rib tank top with like, and then I'll add like a big old neck stack to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, I wear baggy mom jeans, like literally all the time, like dad, like dad <laughs> jeans over everything. Dad, honestly, yeah. my life mom was just like dressing like a dad, basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. So big into dad jeans, um, oversized blazers. I love. And like on the weekends, I very much when I want to look cute and like very chic, but not like waste an outfit. Like you guys know the struggle. I, well, not so much anymore because now it's like going, you know, to drinks with a stranger. I'm like, okay, I need to look head to toe <laughs> because I've been wearing yeah. leggings for the past like 17 days straight. But um, I would say that on the weekends, my favorite super chic, like just throw it on and look fantastic is like Daisy was saying, just a simple white like tent dress with like a big old puff sleeve um, that is has been the one item that I've been wearing nonstop just because it's so so easy and just like always 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 look chic and there's so many ways to style it I've been putting vests over it I can do a different shoe every time I can completely change up my hair my makeup the jewelry can be completely different and it's very very versatile as well highly recommend <laughs> okay and you actually brought up the thing about dating so obviously a lot of people are going to start dating again with you know the pandemic kind of ending a little bit and then we have the vaccine out so what this is to all of you guys what would your tips for styling and beauty be for this dating scene that we're all about to enter as like the pandemic's kind of coming to a slow end Honestly, I did the white dress for a date last week. <laughs> I, I literally wore that, that exact dress that I'm describing. I wore on a date last week. Um, and then I had another one that I wore. I'm just going to tell you guys what I wore because I don't, because <laughs> I'm still figuring it out myself. Um, I wore a black tank top with snake like snake skin, not real snake skin, but like snake skin high rise trousers. Ooh. and like a black sandal so it was like a little tightness like on the top to sort of like show the goods <laughs> and <laughs> on the bottom it was like a little fashion moment because you know you gotta you gotta show them who you are <laughs> right and going back to that blazer I wore I, I with my husband our, our big date finally 
is an oversized blazer going back to that oversized blazer. And I just kind of embrace that as a dress, have a nice one that fits really mm -hmm. nice on the shoulders. So it's not adding weight elsewhere. Um, and then with the kind of casual day boot, a high day boot. Um, and in, and without making that too dressy, just keep your hair really natural and clean, clean skin and makeup. Um, so it doesn't look like you're trying too hard. Yeah. yeah I, think I would also say a nice rib knit dress, like a maxi mm. dress. And you can, if it's a day date, you can wear a cute sandal with it. If it's nighttime, you can accessorize it, layer some necklaces or a statement earring and maybe even add a jacket, a leather jacket or a blazer to it. I think that's a great, you know, day night outfit. Okay. So Daisy, back to you again. How does silhouette come into play with looks? Does some silhouettes look trendier than others and which are you liking right now for the summer? Yeah, I think it definitely um, comes into play. I think it's just the purpose, where you're going. If you're trying to make a statement, more certain silhouettes are more, you know, I think they well, or, you know, they're just a little more trendier. And then it's also depending on like, if you're, if you want to be comfortable, if you're, you know, dressing it up. Um, and then, I definitely think right now I really I'm really loving for summer is a backless detail. I think it's, you know, classic, but then it's it has a really nice statement in the back. Um, any oversized jackets are awesome. I think Kelsey and I are really, you know, loving the oversized looks a lot. You know, it's also all about proportions, making sure that if you're wearing something oversized. At the top, you have something, you know, maybe not as oversized or adding a belt to it. So there's some sort of proportion mm -hmm. to it. I like that, I like that. Um, so Kate, is an effortless look easier to achieve in the spring, summertime? If yes, how and why? You know, I think this really depends on the person. You know, there is something just so easy about dressing in the winter. It's, it's just, mm -hmm. you can cover your body, you can, there's more forgiveness. Um, you, you could play with like your fun jackets and, and scarves. Um, I find, cause I put on some weight in COVID, like I think for spring and summer, it, it, I think it really depends on the person and their body. I'm a little nervous for bathing suit this season. Um, but there, I think there is ease in both seasons cause there is an ease in just in spring wearing lighter dresses and materials are lighter and just more comfortable and there's just less material in general and Absolutely. I think it's I think there's fun in either season okay so Carolina what high-end and fast fashion labels are you currently shopping well for high-end my go-to uh, I love Saint Laurent because they have such a classic and timeless pieces and I feel when you're buying designer you can spend the money rather be like something classic and like timeless that you can wear often, you know, I will never buy like, you know, stuff that I'm going to wear only one time. And then um, for fast fashion, I love shopping at a revolve because they have a lot of variety. So they have a mm -hmm. bunch of stuff that you can choose from, like a lot of things, options. And then other just online brands, I usually don't mm -hmm. like shop at the mall or like I'm just <laughs> more online now. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have my my brands that I that I go to, or if I found some uh, small businesses right now, they have their new. So it's just like looking in it, looking it up or on Instagram, you always find things. So. So, actually, this is for you. You said Instagram. Is that like the only place you're finding your inspiration for fashion, or like where else are you looking? Yeah, yeah, Instagram is, a, I mean, if I see somebody wearing some cool shoes or a bag or an outfit, then, oh, what is it from? Like, mostly from <laughs> wears in most, a lot of my time is in Instagram, <laughs> but also <laughs> Pinterest. I think I find some cool stuff in Pinterest. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. So, Kelsey, what items in your closet? Why do I keep asking the same questions? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, you have a knack for beautifully layering both your clothing and your jewelry. What's your secret? <laughs> um, I think balance is uh, the key 
when you're layering um, anything, but especially mm -hmm. like jewelry and accessories to like the rest of your fit. I used to put jewelry on everything. Like I was very much a maximalist actually for a very long time. Um, but now I've become much more selective. Like a lot of days I don't wear any jewelry. Like I'm not wearing any right now. Um, Cause I wanted the okay. leaves to sort of like stand on their own. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I feel like what I do is I look, I like put my outfit together. I look in the mirror and if I just feel like something's missing I'll be like, okay, maybe it's a statement earring. Maybe it's a neck stack. Maybe it's a belt. Maybe it's a fistful of rings. Um, so that's when I'll add on accessories. So I feel like just making sure that you're not overdoing it and you're really letting the key pieces speak for themselves um, is sort of the best way to do it. Okay, amazing. So Daisy, what little known brands are you loving right now? Um, wow, we have so many brands on Revolve, but currently a few that I really love. Um, there's a new brand called Tell Your Friends. So make sure you tell your friends about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fluke the Label and um, Andrea, uh, Andrea Iyama. Love her swimwear, love her resort. It's mm -hmm. such a beautiful collection that I'm so in love with. Okay, Kate. How important are accessories to styling a great spring look? And what are a few of your favorites? I am like, I'm obsessory obsessed. It's like the hippie rocker in me. I'm listening to Kelsey and I'm going, oh my God, these poor people. I'm like, they're ha all you are minimalist and beautiful. I, so <laughs> I grew up, I've wore bangles since I was a little girl um, and rings. And I feel like it, accessories and jewelry really make your outfit personal to you. It doesn't have to be bangles. It doesn't have, I, I don't even necessarily even follow trends with jewelry that much. I mean, I've had these for years. I find key pieces. I add and layer as Kelsey and Daisy, we all said. Um, what I like is really find the pieces that you love and you can wear them forever. And, and it really is what elevates an outfit, whether you are a little more minimal and it's just a really simple earring or one really beautiful ring. But I think it's what makes a basic outfit or any outfit, um, it really shows your personality and you're able to create it in that capacity with your Absolutely. jewelry and accessories. Yeah, I totally get that. So Carolina, you tend to wear a lot of neutrals. Is the lack of color a part of your uniform? Yeah, well, I think I stay away of like white colors and like bright print, you know, because I feel there are pieces that I cannot wear that often, you know, or like, mm -hmm. let's say if you're a blogger or influencer, if you get a photograph with certain print or like, certain color is like, okay, everybody already saw your outfits, you know? So it's not like, <laughs> instead of like the neutral pieces, let's say this black tea, I can style it so many ways, instead mm -hmm. of like the colors of, or prints. So that's why I rather not, and like, I don't like color that much, but sometimes <laughs> I add a pop of color, let's say in the shoes or the accessories, or maybe a jacket more colorful, not, not, not bright, but a kind of color. <laughs> Fair, fair. So this is for Kelsey, but you guys can all answer it if you have something you want to say. What is your go-to item that is in your wardrobe right now? Yeah. It's definitely like my dad jeans. <laughs> I'm loving any jean that is not as skinny. Um, I'm kind of, a, I live, I'm a, I live in California, so I'm definitely a denim girl to begin with. So that mm -hmm. is, that's my go-to kind of every day. Yeah. Fair. All right, well, back to Daisy. What is one of your easiest and best style tricks for going from drab to fab? Uh, I think an oversized blazer. I own it. Um, I can create I can create 10 different looks with it, uh, wear it to the store with a legging, uh, with activewear. Uh, mm -hmm. I can even do a cute little jumpsuit underneath or a romper. Um, I can definitely create many different looks depending on the type of day with an oversized blazer. You really can't go wrong with it. Awesome. So for Kate, what are a few essentials to invest in now that you can take, like that you can take beyond spring and summer? Um, I 
my go-to will always be probably jewelry and shoes. And it doesn't necessarily even need to be designer, but just be mindful and really buy something that you love that's going to elevate your style. I, I really like quality shoes. I mean, I, I'm a sneaker girl. Like I will wear sweats, but I have a cool pair of sneakers and, you know, a ring. And I still have my jewelry, which is my beat up t-shirt. I have mm -hmm. an elevated outfit right there. Um, it just kind of has that cool factor. Uh, I really, I mean, we all know, we all love our shoes and shoes make it. Um, yeah. And then jewelry, definitely jewelry. Mm -hmm. Make it your own, whether it's a personal, a gifted necklace, just stay true to you and what lights you up and kind of makes you feel vibrant and beautiful. Absolutely. So Carolina, what accessories will you rely on this season to complete most of your outfits? Um, a good pair of sunglasses. Yes. Um, plus also a good pair of chunky hoops. I think and, like you can work on clothes and you add sunglasses and some hoops that will like elevate your style. So those two pieces um, is my go-to, especially for okay. the summer. Awesome. So this is for everyone. Do you have a favorite celebrity style icon and why? I love Hailey Bieber's style. I think she's always on point. In everything. Oh, yes. I completely agree. <laughs> I love Zoe Kravitz and mm -hmm. I do love Gwen Stefani a lot. I think she's fearless. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily like that style for myself, but I admire her mm -hmm. fearlessness. Like I wish, I, like even as a professional <laughs> stylist, like I wish I was more of that. I'm not as brave. <laughs> I get that. I'm gonna steal all these answers and say Haley Bieber, um, Zoe Kravitz and Bella yeah. Hadid. Cause I think they each yeah. do things perfectly on their own. Like Haley yeah. is great at like, like the minimalist, like oversized, like nailing yeah. it. The blazer, then, like she's yeah, perfect she, with it. She pulls yeah. a blazer every yeah. day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Zoe Kravitz is just like the coolest person alive pretty much. Yeah. So that just kind of speaks for itself. Yeah. And, and Shay, Mitch, Shay Mitchell's another great one. Monica yes, Rose styles yes. her. I mean, I mean, anyone that Monica styles is just like- Exactly, <laughs> this is true. This is true. What about you, Daisy? Do you have one? No. Yes, I think I've saved all her images on Pinterest. Rosie Huntington-Whitley, yeah. love mm. her style. She's so minimal, but she always looks very chic. I think- I have it in my own Pinterest board for style. So every time I can't figure out yeah. what to wear for the day, I'm just going like, what has she worn? And I'm going to just, you know, <laughs> try it out. <laughs> no, Pinterest has been like a saving grace because I literally have a board where it's just like Emma Roberts' style. Like I'm obsessed with her style. <laughs> oh, so I have to do a Lipa because Dua oh. is yes my icon she's queen of the exposed thong mm -hmm. which personally i think is the most interesting thing to happen to fashion in the past decade um <laughs> she her weekend looks she's just like so she she has this way of doing brights and colors mm -hmm. and that feel yeah. super edgy, which is why i think i've always tended to like stray away from color because I like to always look like a badass and I feel like it's kind of hard sometimes when you're like wearing pink, but she does, she does it so well. Effortlessly cool, always. <laughs> well, let's open this up to some questions and answers. If you guys um, who are watching have any questions that you wanna submit, I will submit them to our lovely panel. I'm gonna see if there's some right now. Okay, so there's one. Somebody asked earlier, what do you suggest for somebody who is big busted and loves backless look? And loves a backless look? Yeah, love, they want a backless look. They are a little bit larger in the chest. What is a good option for that? God, there's amazing separates. I would recommend going to um, a department store. And there's so many great strap that can you really, the back, or tape. Tape's amazing. Tape is amazing. Kim Kardashian's tape is really I effective. I use, it, I use it all the time on set. Um, and okay. that will provide the support and then have your sexy back shine. That's what we're going for. Yeah, yeah I think even something with like a string detail in the back, yeah. like a, a top that, you know, you can also adjust in the back with a string. 
Yeah. Um, I think that would also, you know, give you some support as well. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any tips on decluttering? If you don't wear it for a year, get rid of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just get rid of it. Don't even think you're going to wear it yeah. in the next few months because it's not going to happen. And if when you put it on, it's just like, we all have those pieces that you put on, you feel really beautiful in, you feel cool in. If you're, it's not lighting you up, you gotta move it out. Got it. And so, also seasonally, yeah, I really believe in like organizing seasonally. And then you open it up again on the warmer seasons and vice versa. And it's, it's really exciting to see what you forgot was in your closet. That's a smart idea actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you know, this person is I get rid of things is when I'm like switching mm -hmm. the season and yeah. I'll like look at it like I'll pull something out from last season and I'm like I wore this every day like I'm tired of you <laughs> like that <laughs> like, I forgot you existed and like I'm kind of glad about it so, right <laughs> that's when I usually get rid of a ton of stuff yes yes okay there's a lot of questions popping in I'm trying to get to all of them but there was one from earlier that I thought was good I'm trying to find it again <laughs> um Let's see. So what do you think are five key pieces you need in a wardrobe at all times? Size blazer, a good pair of jeans, a good <laughs> really, black a really good sneaker. Yeah. A black leather handbag that goes with everything. Yep. That's fair. Okay, so this person is a designer and they want to know what is the best way to get their clothing into the hands of stylists for national publications or celebrities, etc. I'll whenever you guys let me take start it. I I really social media marketing is just huge. Get those clothing on everywhere and everything in regards to creating your own content. And just, you're just gonna have to hustle, send out, send out, um, you could go to Model Mayhem and, and reach out to a whole bunch of beginning stylists. Um, but just don't be afraid, create the possibilities, send out pitch letters with your mood boards or, or your lookbook and um, just send it out to everybody. You have nothing to lose, it's all about exposure and someone's gonna pick it up and yes, it'll slowly, st slowly start to get a momentum and um, people start talking and seeing it in editorial and whatnot. And when you're emailing, less copy, more images. Like yep. write me like two lines about the brand and then the rest I should just be hit in the face by your beautiful clothing. Cause I get like 500 emails a day. So yes. it's like, like I'm, it, you, you gotta let the clothes talk. And I don't know if you agree, Kelsey, it's like, I don't want to see even too many images. I need like, I, I want to see key pieces, the two, best. like the two, your two favorite pieces that tell me who your brand is. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. So what are all time changes to always make when transitioning seasons from spring to summer? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Sorry, I was reading the chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the person asked, what are some all-time changes to always make when transitioning seasons from spring to summer? From spring to summer, I think colors, mm -hmm. less pastels, more neons, <laughs> more brighter colors. <laughs> and I don't know, is spring, summer is very similar. It's just like mm -hmm. summer is water. Mm -hmm. Usually here in Miami, so more bikinis. Yeah. yeah, maybe some like from spring to summer, less of those transitional, like lighter sweaters mm -hmm. um, for the cooler evenings in spring. I don't know okay. bad. I don't really like separate my wardrobe that much. <laughs> Me neither. Like, I wear boots in the summer with dresses, like, I wear blazers over like bike shorts in the spring or in the summer like I the only thing that I feel like I really swap out would be like sweaters but like even then in like the spring even if it's hot I'll do like a over the shoulder like wrap it around kind of like a scarf like just use it as an accessory like mm -hmm. draped over my shoulders over like a tank top and like jeans or something so I don't know I don't really do that <laughs> but I did see a question in the chat that I wanted to answer do you mind yeah 
Yeah, go ahead. Was what is your favorite fashion hack or like styling mm. trick that everyone should know? I was thinking about this earlier and I was like, oh, I should have shared this. But my favorite <laughs> thing to do right now, and I literally did this yesterday, and I know I've been talking about high cut rib tank tops nonstop, but I haven't even been buying new ones because I just use the old ones I have that mm -hmm. are like the regular like scoop net tank and I just flip them around. So the back mm. would always be high cut. And then I get a cute little low back moment in the Ooh. back. And I am obsessed with doing that. Um, and I also have like a back tattoo, so it like shows it off. So that's been <laughs> my favorite summer hack for like the past two summers, because it's like so easy. You don't even have to buy anything new to like be able to take on this new trend. Love that, I love that. And so, maybe adding a, a belt to a dress, like a, a dress that's normally like a shift dress or a long dress. I love that all the belts that are the wasted belts and that will completely change a dress and belts are just so hot right now um so that's that will offer some some other opportunity for those dresses in your closet uh what i've been doing in editorial is i use oversized button downs not only as a cover-up but I also transform them into crop tops. So something I tie them at the bottom and I hide the ends. I tuck them into the top so you can just have a cute little oversized crop top. I have okay. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any spring sauce summer look must have for mid size or plus size women? I love it all for my plus size girls. I mean, I feel like there's such a positive movement and but and I love that they there's no limitations and I feel like our fashion our fashion industry we're finally making clothes that accommodates this demographic. Um, that's kind of all I have to say on that one. I don't know what everyone else thinks. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I yeah, it's your body and do what you feel comfortable with, but like. There's no difference. Like dress how you mm -hmm. want to dress. You want to wear a crop top. You want to wear a bra mm -hmm. shirt. Like I cover that stuff all the time on 17. Um, mm -hmm. And actually side note, yesterday I was doing some market and I just have to say, if you're looking for a plus size, a brand that carries plus size and has incredibly trendy, sexy, really, really cool items, mm -hmm. definitely check out Akira. They have literally the trendiest stuff and um, their plus section is unreal okay okay this one is to everyone actually is keeping up with the trend an essential to your styling or do you prefer sticking to your own trend i try to pick up a few trends uh mm -hmm. but i usually have my classics and my basics that i really love and i just uh transition them into uh season uh, but I will pick and choose a few trends to try and to keep in my closet. Okay. I ditto. <laughs> um, for me, I would say that like, uh, fashion is my entire life. It's my eat, sleep, breathe. It's my job. Um, so my whole entire life revolves around new trends. <laughs> That's like, um, what I care about most in the world. Um, so I definitely like, I'm always, always, always trying out new trends, but like there's certain ones, you know, I do what's right for me. Like, like Kate was talking about neons. Like when neon started being a thing, like, nope, mm -hmm. gonna pass on that one for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's cute, but it's not, not the vibe <laughs> for me. Um, so yes, trends Just... are my absolute jam, but like I said, do you? Yeah. We tell you guys, David, that we need to meet anybody at the command post. Hey, David, what's up? <laughs> um, so does anybody have any thoughts on capsule wardrobes? Oh my god, I have so many clothes, I can't comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, too. Well, um, somebody asked, um, does anybody have tips for styling for petite? Yes, I'm, yes, I'm five, five two, five, five three. Two, five, three. Um, um, I think getting a few bottoms altered, making sure that they fit you well. I think all my dresses, if 
I really love something, but it's just too long for me, I do um, end up getting it altered. Uh, my mom's, uh, she used to be a seamstress, so I'll cut it, I'll take it to her and she'll fix it for me. Um, I think it's really important. I try to shop, you know, petite sizes, sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I just buy a few things, inexpensive things that I can wear and just get them altered. Okay. So this person asks, when working with new clients, what are some intake questions that you should ask? One of the ones that I ask is what celebrity style they admire, because it really gives me insight to what they're attracted to and what their goal is. That helps a lot. And then their lifestyle is really important. And it's a realistic question to ask. And where do you all look for trends other than Pinterest? Um, people on the street. <laughs> Yeah, people on this panel um, find fashion influencers are just a huge inspiration. And the magazines, yeah. Yeah, Women's Wear Daily. I mean, just staying on top of the news and the trends. I'm on Instagram 24-7. That's the only where I get all of my inspiration, um, yeah. all of my you know new ideas, things I haven't thought of before. You know what? Um, I just follow everyone. I follow like two thousand people, so I definitely fault. recommend doing that. And I also get lost in my um, suggestions page, which I never used to do before. But mm -hmm. it's a really good way of finding new people that you um, might not have followed and bringing new styles and inspiration to your feed. Okay. Well, I'll bring up one more question before we close out, um, just due to timing. What is your favorite place to look for emerging trends? What was the question? Where is your favorite place to look for emerging trends? Mm -hmm. I love to look at um, runway street style. So whenever people are attending runway shows, I love to see the, the street style images to see what everyone's wearing. That's exactly what we have. Yeah, some Vogue <laughs> runway. Um, for all, to get access to all the shows really gives you insight and it's just really inspiring and will really give you a trigger on, the, on what's going to be coming up. Okay. Well, that is all. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. There will be a five minute transition where you can take a quick break before entering the next session on the agenda tab on our conference site. Thank you guys so much for joining our panel. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you so much. Bye.